Hi everyone, welcome back to Gillian at Mystic Healing Therapies. So I'm here at the Nine Ladies Stone Circle in Derbyshire. It's quite a famous stone circle near Birchover. Now a lot of people ask me about this stone circle, but it's only one that I visited a few times. So I thought I'll come and have a look. So it's quite easy access, there's campsites near it. And like I say, it's very well known because back in the 90s or the zeros, the noughties, there was proposed development round here. So the eco warriors took up camp here and campaigned and got the planning overruled. That's the story. Now, it's an interesting energy, but like I say, it is very famous. Lots of people ask me about this one. But in terms of, you know, all, all stone circles are magical, but, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say this is the crown, the jewel in the crown of Derbyshire stone circles. I'd say energetically, there's lots of others that are more energetic. For example, the are below one and the stone circle on Iron Moor, which is um, a lot more powerful. Now, I've gone round and the ley lines seem to be intact although the stone here this one doesn't seem to correspond to the ley line where i'm standing is where the ley line is so i think that at some point they have um, either moved the stone or there's been some energy block so there is there was a block ley line so we've cleared that and I've gone into the centre here and people have left offerings, look. Mostly the offerings are organic. So we've got a carrot, we've got some daffodils, we've got... But what I would say to anybody that is leaving offerings on any sacred site or any trees, you know, sometimes people like to leave um, ribbons on trees. All I would say to you is please, 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 please only leave offerings if they're organic. It's like this one, someone's put some plastic around the carrot. Well, the carrot's going to biodegrade, but the, the plastic isn't. So, you know, especially like when you do ribbons on trees, just think about it. Essentially, it might look pretty, but after a while, really what you're leaving is plastic rubbish. So please just be mindful of that. And that's from Creator, that's from Universe. So yeah, I've stood in the middle here and what I've seen is a vortex of energy going right up. I've done the Restore, Refresh, Re-Energize to bring down the light and anchor it into the planet. But what I saw here was like a vortex of energy spiralling up, a very thin vortex. You know, quite often we I see big vortexes, but this one seemed to be very specific and it seems to be going right down into the into the bedrock of the planet and out the other side so it's kind of like almost like a i don't know a sphere of energy that pierces all the way through the planet and out the other side so i'm just adding my energy to it i can feel it it feels really good i'm starting to feel really warm and i just thought i'd share this experience so here i am the nine ladies in Derbyshire, restored, refreshed, re-energised. We're just a little bit late for the um, spring equinox, but it's the best I could do in terms of my schedule. So yeah, we've got lots of exciting things coming up, folks, on um, the summer solstice. We're doing another trip to our below. Now we're going to do this on I think it's the 20th i'll let you know anyway but we're doing it on the thursday in the evening and then we're going to meet up in a very amazing pub that's run by a very awake landlady in winster called the miners standard so we're going to meet at our below do a ceremony and then go to the pub what what could be a better a better uh, meet and greet so yeah, so remember, you can find me on Telegram. You can find my books on Amazon. Sending you all loads of love and step into this wonderful Ostra energy, the wonderful season where the life, life starts to come around again in the planet. 
nature just absorb it it's there for the taking and it's got all the magical keys and codes sending you all lots of love bye for now